centuries, I have felt their coming. Shrouded in vanity, they believe themselves obscured. Free to wage their covert war upon the pure and the righteous. Even now, they gird their souls with contempt. Stalking their prey with a morbid pride. But they do not see the reckoning I have prepared for them. For their crimes, they will pay with most holy sacrifice. <laughs> For the grandfather's truths cannot be denied. And hello, it's Mac. Uh, welcome to my first playthrough of uh, Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. Now, I hesitated when I said say first playthrough because I actually streamed this uh, a few times uh, two months ago, roughly. And you can see uh, the VODs on the channel uh, with the evidence of that. Uh, the problem I have is that at the t at the time of the streaming of this game, I don't feel like I gave it gave this. I don't think think I gave this game the proper uh, props. I don't think I gave it the attention it deserved. I was live streaming, so my attention was elsewhere. I, I wanted to interact more with chat, and I really don't feel like I was focusing on the game as much as I wanted to, and I was really excited to uh, get into this game. Uh, it's a game I had waited to buy for a couple of years, um, and when it was finally on sale again, and I was in the mood, I picked it up, but then, yeah, it's just just kind of odd. I, I started playing it on stream, and I just wasn't feeling it, so I wanted to give it a, a fair shot, and so I wanted to start a, a playthrough series of this, post on YouTube, and uh, see how I feel about it a second time around. Uh, I'm going to start a brand new game, a brand new campaign. And uh, before I do though, I, I do want to say that I'm playing on my brand new uh, PC. Uh, something that I, I've only had for a few weeks now. Uh, my previous gaming laptop completely died on me. Fortunately, I managed to recover most of the data. and uh, But everything else was lost. Uh, I mean, <laughs> the hardware it, it was a write-off. So I managed to uh, find my uh, save files and uh, important documents, all that, all that jazz. And now I'm uh, got a spiffy new uh, desktop gaming rig, and it's great. And uh, I'm gonna go into graphic settings and uh, show that I've got pretty much everything maxed out. Um, Chaos Gate Demon Hunters was not a, a system pusher when it first came out. It was not testing people's hardware. I don't think with cutting edge uh, stuff, but uh, yeah, it's good to have everything cranked up to a maximum. And uh, V-Sync has been enabled by default, so I'll just leave it on. I'll leave motion blur on as well as the bloom. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it in terms of just settings. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, I'll be playing on gamepad. Uh, it's my preferred way to play games, even on PC, as much as possible. And um, yeah, uh, we're just going to jump in to a brand new campaign. I'm going to be playing on um, standard difficulty, I would say. So we'll start a new slot, if they will let me. I think it'll just automatically uh, go to Slot number two, I think. I already have my current game, which I want to abandon for now. No, I don't want to overwrite the save slot. I actually want to... How do I how do I select a new save slot? Oh, here we go. Slot number two, there we are. So, yeah, go standard. What does it say about Merciful? I get... Plus two nights at the game start, plus six night HP, 
minus 33% wound recovery time. Wound penalties are less severe. Minus 25% enemy HP. Enemies have a lower stun value. Some enemy squads are smaller. Bloom eruptions are less aggressive. So, like, easy mode. Uh, I hear the game is quite difficult even on standard. But, yeah, I think, I think it's just fair enough to just start on standard. Um, oh. The f... Did I even select Hold on a sec it is the 41st wow millennium. it's really loud Hold on a sec Hold for a sec. more I than guess, a hundred century I don't feel like I properly selected the standard difficulty setting <laughs> already running into issues here oh my goodness okay let me let me start fresh let me start fresh my goodness I apologize. My god. Get the heck. The I have issues with the UI in this game. There's something I brought up in the previous live streams. Palamedes, report. We have cleared a path through this chat. Our target was a this is uh Time Come is on. against us, brothers. We breach the cathedral. My goodness. Okay. Exit the main menu. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. Yeah, the UI is, is, is like, by default, they just go straight into slot one. Uh, they don't let me select slot two, so I have to back out, select slot two. <clears throat> and then to actually select a difficulty level, you have to hit the X button. I press the A button, which is just to confirm all the current settings and proceed. So here we go, standard. Grandmaster mode, disables manual saving. The campaign will be limited to a single autosave save uh, slot only. Uh, I'm not down with that. Uh, so that's off. Tutorials, yes, leave it on. DLC Elite units, sure, even though I don't have any DLC installed as far as I know. Special launch equipment. A custom set of Master Crafty equipment was made available for players who participated in activities leading to the game's launch. They were later released to all players. Oh, okay, that's nice. These weapons only have a small stat bonuses and some players prefer not to use them in their campaign. Well, I'll take every advantage I can get. How's that? Okay, so now we have it on slot two, standard difficulty. We're all set. We're all set to begin. By the way, do I need to explain what this game is to all here? I assume if you're watching this, this far in, you know that this is a turn-based tactics, uh, strategy slash RPG set in the Warhammer 40,000 um, universe. Uh, came out a couple years ago. It's made by a studio called Complex Games. They're based out of Winnipeg, Canada. And uh, yeah, the game released two years ago to pretty good reception, I would say. And uh, <clears throat> I'm a Warhammer 40k th fan, at least in the fiction side of things. I don't play the tabletop game, but uh, I quite like the Grey Knights omnibus that I read many years ago, and the Grey Knights are the, the stars of this game. All right, that's enough uh, set up. Let's get, let's get going. photosensitivity warning. I'm going to be quiet during the uh, cinematics, so. It is the 41st millennium. For more than a hundred centuries, the emperor has sat immobile on the golden throne of Earth. Mankind wages a never-ending battle for survival against the demonic power of the Chaos Gods. But by one force is humanity shielded 
from true darkness. The Grey Knights. This secret chapter of Space Marines are the Imperium's surest defense against that which the Emperor foresaw would be its greatest threat. Humanity's blade against the demon. For in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Unidentified Astartes vessel. This is Captain Ferrani Everick of the warship Holiness of Ra. Skeheris is lost. Repeat, Skeheris is lost. All Imperial vessels are to withdraw at once. Astartes vessel, do you read me? Skeheris is doomed. Please acknowledge this warning and... You have done all you can, Captain. Go, in the Emperor's light. You cannot sail into this storm. We do what we must. Farewell, Captain. Tech Priest, report. Hexagonic wards are under maximal pressure. Commander, we cannot maintain this orbit for long. Dispatch the assault team at once. I will join them and put an end to this myself. Your will be done. Assault team is engaged, Commander. They clear a path for your arrival. Here I stand, one unbreakable shield against the darkness. Tonight the Cadium falls, Hector. Our quest is finally near its end. All right, these uh, Grey Knights are so very, very dramatic, aren't they? <clears throat> Palamedes, report. We have cleared a path through this jam. Our target lies ahead. Time is against us, brothers. We breach the cathedral. All right, here we are. Gameplay time. Let's take the. Position your cursor here and press A to select the position. Cool. Move melee attack. Select the destination within five spaces per AP. You can simultaneously select a target for a melee attack in an adjacent space. Confirm move. Press A again to confirm this move. Ha! Ah, deluded zealots. Your Imperium shall burn! Cowards and weaklings. Advancing into cover. Full cover reduces damage from direct range attack by 100%. I want to tone down the audio just a touch. Let's try 30. <clears throat> okay. So let's move, uh, who, who am I moving here? Oberon Palamedes. Let's move Oberon over here. He's an apothecary. Punish that craven fool. Craven fool. Uh, actions. Characters gain uh, three action points each turn. These action points can be used for movement, attacks, and abilities in any sequence. Select range attack. Oops. So you can use the left and right triggers to select actions from the menu. So this is the range attack. One ammo. Oops. Let's shoot this boyo. Press A to target the cultist and preview the damage you can deal to him. How do you preview? Why? 
It's not giving me a preview of no damage. Oh, it's just the bar, I guess. Okay. Shoot the target. Press A to shoot with your storm bolter. Your damage can be affected by distance, any cover, and other factors. Okay. Shoot a target at range 10 to deal 4 damage. So there's no chance to miss. It's not like XCOM where you can... No matter what range you're at, you always have a, a chance to miss your shots, right? So that's that's cool. That's cool. It makes more sense based on the the uh, you know the the setting and the the theme of the game, which is based around space marines. Space marines are not as fallible and frail as uh, those XCOM marines. Marines. Reloading. Palamedes Stormbolter has zero animation remaining. Reload it now so that he can continue to use it. Okay. Select reload. Reload your range weapon to max ammo. Immune autos. What does that mean? I will end that heretic. So, um, says so partial cover provides some damage reduction against range attacks. Move Iolanthus Eol here. They're these names. These names are wonderful. Iolanthus. Let's move. Oh, cinematic camera shot there. So now it's telling me to uh, attack, range attack. And I can finish off this guy. This is what I'm going to do. And yep, we're just going to finish him off with, uh, uh, I guess, a Cybolt is my uh, attack for this character. He's a Jestacar. Ulrich Iolanthus. Okay, let's do it. <clears throat> Dead. Uther, dispense of that heretic with your blade. Melee attacks can inflict devastating damage and effects in close range. Press A to select melee attack. Gotta press A on him. Grant them no quarter. Yes, mother. Press A again to move to the target and strike them. Melee attack. Strike an adjacent target to deal four damage. I am the Emperor's Here Jordan. I come. You're out of cover, Uther. Trust in the Aegis. Activate Aegis Shield. Aegis Shield provides bonus temporary armor for one turn. Each point of armor absorbs one damage before HP or lost. Very simple calculations here. Oh, gotta select it first. Enemy's turn. Overwatch. So it's a firing zone. Okay. They're maniacal Here's a good spot. screams, laughs. So two guys on Overwatch Time now. Stands against us. I will breach the cathedral. Move your camera into the cathedral to see inside it. Breach the door by moving Aggravain into the cathedral. Okay. Easy enough. Confirm. Smash. Nice. Demons, I will not be delayed by these. Four of them. Jeez. <clears throat> Use the environment. Hazardous objects are identified with this icon. A blue little circle. They can often be interacted with to your advantage. Select the pillar. Choose your targets. Attack templates can be can deal damage and effects over a wide area. Align the template with the guide. Bing. And then hit A again, I assume. Confirm. Chop. Nice. Iolanthus, your brother is pinned. 
Advance and deliver retribution. Uh, who I, who I should deliver retribution to? Oh, I guess over here, yeah. Let's chop this guy down. I can't, I can't move that far. Okay. I'm in cover now. Ah. Frag grenades can damage and knock back multiple targets in the blast radius. Let's do it. One AP, one ammo. Right in there. Right, get in there, girl. Get in there, girl. Yeah. Wrath. Deliver the Emperor's judgment, Uther. Do it, Uther. Gunderous Uther. Let's kill him. Four strike. Advance and train your bolter on that doorway. <clears throat> Whose turn is it? It's uh still Uther. Okay, let's move where it tells me to move. Unleash your blessed ammunition the moment they are exposed. <clears throat> overwatch time. You can shoot enemies that move on their turn by setting up an overwatch zone. Overwatch targeting. You can set the direction of your overwatch zone by moving your navigation cursor. Move your cursor towards the template outline and press A to confirm. Right in there. Palamedes, prepare for the demon's charge. You too. Word oh, okay. Post up. Layering overwatch. Layer multiple overlapping overwatch zones to decimate charging melee enemies. Stepping out from full cover. While targeting from full cover, you can automatically step out to get a more advantageous firing position. So if I position it there, then he will step out automatically, I guess. Ah, yes. Oh, get wasted. Oh, he didn't die. Cheating. Oh, shit. It's a week. We'll be covering three turns. <clears throat> so there's no, like, permanent death on the battlefield. They People just get winded or knocked, knocked out temporarily. Rear strike, adjacent enemies with melee weapons will automatically strike you if you move out of range. Ignore the reaction strike and set your waypoint towards the inner sanctum. Oh, so I have to, I'm still moving away? Alright, they're gonna get a free hit on me. Rotate camera, rotate the camera to get a better view of the battlefield. Activate abilities. Your knights also have powerful abilities that can cost both AP and willpower, WP, to use. These soulless curs shall hinder us no longer. Uh, this is a psychic spread attack. Unleash a rolling wave of force that devastates all enemies along its path. So I want to line it up right, right about here. Confirm. Let's see this attack. Yeah, that, that fucked them up. Good. A Palamedes has suffered the pain deflection, which penalizes his AP. Attack the blood letter. Oh, I shall, I shall. Pinned no more. Did I even hit him? Auto defenses. The blood letter has the auto defense parry that can cancel the first melee attack against it. Attack the blood letter again. Uh, there you go. I'm trying to. How oh, it's not letting me. There we go. I will uh, he didn't really we take that much damage. Another battle, brother Iolanthus. Both demons must be destroyed. Uh, it's up to Iolanthus now, isn't it? It's telling me to move over here just to do a melee attack. May as well. Oh, look at this. 
How come this shows up now and not before with the other with the other guy's melee attack? Precision targeting, a successful critical strikes with melee attacks allow you to damage one of the enemy's target points for an advantage in combat. Select the torso for a bonus plus two stun. Okay, so I already decided that this was gonna be a critical hit. And then it gives you this interface. Got it, got it. Torso, give me the torso. It's already pre-selected. Stunning a target, you stun the blood letter. A stunned enemy will always be crit by your next attack, giving you easy access to precision targeting. Here, let's keep rolling with the, the crits. And again, another uh, crit. Execute. Executions, many enemies are vulnerable to executions while stunned. Executing an enemy will give all of your knights plus one AP. Oh, that's pretty good. That's really good. Oh. Refreshing action points. Palamedes has gained plus one AP from the execution. He can immediately act again for a devastating effect. Kill the blood letter. Kill, kill. Your turn. Psychic Enhancement. You can enhance most attacks with Psychic Power for 1 WP. This is called a Force Strike for melee attacks and grants plus 1 damage. So I have to press X. There you go. So it's all charged up. Okay. Excellent. I will move on ahead. <clears throat> Get in there. Aggravane. Not much time, brothers, but we must prepare for the coming battle. Swap to your next available Grey Knight. RB. I can sense enemy reinforcements. Palamedes, resuscitate Uther so you may both defend against them. Righto. Healing. Select a destination within five spaces per AP. You can simultaneously select a target for battlefield medicine in an adjacent space. So a healing costs two WP. Critically wounded knights. The first time a knight is reduced to zero HP, he is critically wounded and cannot fight for three turns. Using a healing action will recover him immediately. Cool. Let's do it. Take up defensive positions, Palamedes. The enemy reinforcements will be here soon. On your feet, soldier. And then, and then what? What is this? Reloading? Your resolve is commendable, Uther. Join Palamedes in defense of the cathedral. Critical wounds recovery. Knights recovered from being critically wounded will only have 50% max HP until the end of the mission. They can only recover once per battle. Move Uther behind a pedestal. Reloading. Nice. Iolanthus with me. There's a breach in the wall ahead. So just run into the uh I can only go as far as the uh Oh it all okay. Will breach the inner sanctum. All right. Cutscene. Emerges. 
Your cult is broken. Your ritual is ended. Relish this breath, for it is your last. Blood for the blood god! <laughs> Skulls for the skulls! Skulls for the what? I didn't, I didn't quite catch that. Skull god? Skulls for the skull god too? Oh, look at these demons. To my side, ILS. Grenades and power armor can leap great distances. Jump over the fissure simply by moving to the other side. That's easy. Yeah. I will show you true wrath, demon. Show me. So, attack the big boss character. Get him. Overwatch and multiple shots. Overwatch grants one range attack for each AP remaining when used, provided the character has sufficient ammunition. Let's point this way, shall we? Right there. Confirm. I'm Reggie. You too. Oops. Overlap. He got through. No. I will not fail you. Uh oh. Oh shit, he's down as well. Our brothers have bought us precious time, Iolanthus. Flank that demon and fire at will. Set another waypoint with A, and then press A again to confirm the movement. Oh, you can set waypoints? Uh huh. And then let's shoot him. No cybolt this time. Can I cybolt it? I can't. It's not in the script. You profane this sacred place with your master's fire. This ends now, demon. Hit. Hit him. I'm gonna be in the fire though. That's is that part of the script too? Doesn't let me go. Yeah, it lets me. I'm burning. That's not good. Still alive. Down but not out. Hit him. Pathetic mortal. Weakling spawn of a false god. Oof. I am the light that banishes darkness. Your prayers mean nothing. I am the hammer! You have beaten me for now, little knight! But the war I fight is eternal! Doesn't seem fair, does it? Demons can keep coming back. They're immortal, right? Analysis. We're, we're but mortals. So we only have one life to live. Then the blood ritual has ended. Where is that report? Report? 
Where is the commander? He died in Champion's death. Blade on blade against the Bower's blasphemy. Victory! At what cost? Your commander has fallen, but all is not lost. The Green Knights are powerful, genetically modified super soldiers. They can sustain injuries that will kill a normal human, but they are not invincible. Your knights each have a special resource called Resilience, which indicates how many critical wounds they can survive over the course of the campaign before their injuries require their remains to be returned to your home on Titan. As your knights rise in rank, they will eventually earn more resilience. Wounded knights. Wounded knights may take and take many days to recover. However, you can still field them in missions with a penalty to max HP. Okay, okay, so if needed, you can get your wounded dudes out into the field. That's that's good to know. Oh, uh, so uh, let me guess. I'm the I'm the new commander. Yeah. His cutscenes look really nice. Really well done. The uh, the character models are kind of cartoony, which kind of puts me off. But the effects and the lighting and the general architecture are really well done. A long campaign over. Like, look at all the detail in this scene. It's crazy. A victory at the cost of the commanders. Mm -hmm. Alive, he was ever a faithful servant to the Emperor. A true hero. In death, at least his duty has finally ended. Assertion. This ship remains in crisis. The Baleful Edict is seriously damaged. There are grievous matters to attend. Ah, yes. That is why I have invited our guest. You have appointed him to take the commander's place? No one else suitable survived the campaign. Falsehood. You also live. My apologies, Acting Commander. The priests of Mars do not understand our nightly oaths. <laughs> our men and stores are severely diminished. Your task is to lead us for the voyage home. It is a simple duty, and once we return to Titan, I will put the future of your command to the chapter's grandmasters. In the meantime, I will provide what advice I can. I will also support you with counsel and service. But remember, the Baleful Edict is my chief concern. Be careful with this ship. We sail for Titan on your word, Commander. Actar, you're you're next up in line. At your disposal. You're next up in line, my guy, and you you're shirking your responsibilities. You pawn it off to me. What a guy! What a hero, Actar. Welcome to the Baleful Edict. That's what that's, I love this. I love that name for this uh, strike cruiser. Is it? With the fall of Commander Agravain, you have been promoted to provisional command of the Baleful Edict for our journey back to Titan. It should be a simple duty, but you will need to manage our limited resources and respond to any threats we encounter along the way. Strike Force Xiphos is at your disposal. Commander, could you please join me in the strategia? But of course. But of course, can I save? Yes, I can. It's a good time to save. What'd you say? Uh, I don't want to use the auto save, obviously, because it's auto. On ship, one. Done. Let's talk to uh, Ektar on the uh, strategium. One of our battle brothers has proved himself worthy. Let us honor his deeds. Okay. Barracks. Ulrich Iolanthus, you have a promotion. 
congratulations. Ireland, Brother Ulrich is a talented Justica. Please decide where he should focus his training to support you in the field. So Justicar's, um, yeah, the first time I played this, I didn't quite understand the different uh, classes, like who does what and what they're good at. This guy, I assume a Justicar is just like a, a all-purpose soldier type. Uh, armaments include Storm Bolter for range attacks, a Force Sword for melee, and they have a Frag Grenade. Uh, tell me to uh, choose an ability, assign talents. So let's let's do it. With every promotion, your knights gain two ability points, which you can use to expand their capabilities. Choose two abilities for this knight to learn. Yeah, uh, the UI on this screen is a freaking dog's breakfast. Um. <laughs> So you're basically selecting one of the four spokes from the wheel, the circle, right here. Um, okay, so I've already, in the center is just my um, core class of Jessicar. The Jessicar gains a plus one armor with their Aegis shield ability. Venerable Soul, the knight starts with plus one max WP at rank one. Okay, and then uh, I already have unlocked up here. It's called the Core Discipline, Cybolt. Psychic range attack, activate to deal plus one damage. It costs one uh, willpower. Cybolt augments the knight, knight's range attacks with Storm Bolters for additional willpower. Cybolt gains plus one damage. I did that during the tutorial mission. That's pretty cool. Uh, it says armor, Terminator armor. Equipment this knight can now equip Terminator armor. Sweet. The passive ability, uh, this knight gains plus two max WP permanently. And uh, health, passive, the, gain, the knight gains plus four max HP permanently. So I, if I want to make this guy tankier, then I could go uh, up into the uh, Tornado Armor um, ability, which is basically what this is. I don't know why they show the Cybolt. It's not talking about Cybolt. If I go left, um, this is already acquired. Oh. I don't... Yeah, this is confusing. I go up, and it's like, okay, learn this ability, which I assume is the Terminator Armor. But it go left, in the center there, also says Terminator Armor, and it also says Cybolt. Right, so like, what the hell? <laughs> okay, this is the new thing. So this has already been acquired, but what what is it exactly that I acquired in this node? Because they say the same things. I do not like this UI, it's bad. Okay, Hammerhand. Discipline. What is hammer hand thing? Psychic melee attack. Strike at an adjacent target to deal four damage. Hundred percent crit. Percent. It's like guaranteed crit. Is that what it means, or is it hundred percent crit damage? I guess it's crit chance, right? One AP and two WP. And then it itself can be upgraded to do more crit damage. Okay, gotcha. And it can do warp charge, activate to give this ability afflict to bleed, plus three, hundred percent. Target suffers three damage at the end of its turn. Damage reduced by one turn. Damage reduces by one turn, pardon me. And then passability, willpower, the knight gains plus two max willpower permanently. And then from there I can go along this track on the left. These are all sort of uh, melee focused. So this is the melee side of things on the left. Up is the uh, tanky protection side. Down is, um, what's down? It would be honor the chapter, leadership discipline. So just like general buffs. 
True the Night at any range, they gain plus one AP ignore cover. Okay. And then ultimately you can unlock a war gear slot. This knight has an extra war gear slot to equip passive equipment. Okay, so if you want to make him more of like a a field general of sorts, then Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this interface, I tell you. And then uh, on the on the right would be ranged abilities, right? Yep, ranged weapons. Um, this is Psy Cannon. Um, but the first upgrade would be for crit. The nice range attacks have plus ten percent crit, and from there I can go into rapid reload. I do Psy Cannon, which is there. Okay, I'm starting. To, I'm starting to get it now. Let's make a bit more sense. Uh, I don't know how to build this guy. I don't know what I want to do. Terminator armor, yeah. Let's make let's make most of my guys beefy boys. Cause says the game is hard, right? So if I can make it more survivable, increase the survivability, it's probably better. So one point into turning armor and that unlocks the next one, which would be plus one armor. So that's the actual upgrade, which is the plus one armor, right? So let's just do that. There we go. And let's just confirm the promotion. Confirming this promotion will apply your ability choices to Ulrich permanently increasing his rank. Yeah, let's do it. Sweet. So we'll go back to the strategium. Excellent. When you are finished, please join me at the star map. Star map. Our ship is in dire need of repair. We had best set a course for Titan and debrief the Grand Masters. Choose destination of left stick plus A. So this should be our destination. It's highlighted it quite obviously. Issue the travel order to begin our return to Titan. It's a little bit of like the Oregon Trail here, I guess, in space. Uh, how do you just say A? Just say A, push A again. There we go. Just say A. Into the warp. It's the only way to travel. Okay, so it's saying I can pause time, but I'm just gonna let it go. En route to Titan. Baleful Edith, in the name of the God Emperor. Dominus, who is this interloper? Code scrapings indicate an inquisitorial transmission. Baleful Edith, prepare for my arrival. Duty calls, Commander. We should open a Vox link. Inquisitorial vessel. Permission granted to come aboard. As an Inquisitor, there is basically no refusing any Inquisitor. So, it's just the formality that they give them permission, really. Music is just so <laughs> over the top. Thank the 
Lord Emperor, I found you. I must commandeer this vessel at once. Impossible. We are bound for Titan. The Edict cries out for repair. The Tech Priest speaks the truth, Inquisitor. Our last crusade bled us dry. I'm not blind, Knight. But heresy does not operate at our convenience. My destination is Koromar Prime, within this very system. Not such a taxing journey, I'd expect. And what is it that you hope to find there? This. Beneath rotting skies, the air thickens with a world's final breath. Seeds planted in flesh and bone, watered with blood and tears. A warrior alone in the garden of a grinning god. These are scraps of astropathic whimsy. There's more. It grows. It spreads. A great dispersal upon the etheric wind. The bloom proliferating. First, then Korama. Then world after world, its roots spread from an ancient veil. Inquisitor, hear me, hear me, hear me! Who tends the garden? The Astropath sacrificed himself to send that message. Now you understand why we must investigate. Commander. We cannot risk further damage to this vessel. It is the chapter ship, Dominus. The Inquisitor has every right to request our support. It is not a request. <laughs> Commander, with your leave, we will set our course for this Koromar Prime. Yes, good. That will do for now. The Inquisitor says jump, and you have to ask how high. Corruption sites detected. Okay. Chaos detected. Worlds afflicted with disease have some level of Nurgle corruption, but this is higher than anticipated. We should investigate this further. Why on chaos detected? Press Y. If we do not investigate this oh. threat, the consequences will be dire. Low levels of warp corruption can lead to increasing amounts of unexplained phenomenon, phenomena and mutations, especially if a plague is involved. You must make planet fall immediately, Commander. Uh, so is this telling me all the different uh, little debuffs or poxes that are on this uh, planet? Chaos detected, light infestation, this planet exhibits signs of some unknown plague. Let's hold over the populace is not yet firmly established. We should seize this opportunity to purge it from the system completely. Mutation level, none. Warp surge risk, plus 15% per turn. Uh, so these are different... Okay, th these are all like the attributes of the planet. Uh, Poxus, this bloom strain carries a theme of plague and disease. Warp surges will introduce foul afflictions to hinder our knights on the battlefield, while our foes will obtain mutations that help them resist our powers. Favorite mutations, resistance bonuses, favorite warp surges, cause of afflictions. Unknown minion of chaos. Okay, so you don't know what the enemy types you will face. That's fine. Okay, what do I do? What do I do to accept it? So only option is to hit B button for back. Commander, it is our duty to support this Inquisitor. But we should complete this task as swiftly as we can. The Grand Masters on Titan are waiting for our report. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to make this first video a short one. I'm going to uh, end, end it right here. And on the next video, uh, I'll go into the first real mission um, on orders of this uh, Inquisitor. Uh, so yeah, that'll be it uh, for now. Uh, thank you so much. I'm going to actually save first. First on day one. It's all right. Fabulous. Thank you so much for watching. Join me for episode two, 
where I uh, start on the first real mission, post tutorial of uh, of uh, Warhammer Forty Thousand Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. And I hope you enjoyed your time here. And I'll see you all next time in the next video. Bye for now.